In today's video, we're going to see what happens if we combine slime with elemental sodium. Hey guys, there's only a few days left before this limited time tea leaves our shop for good. So before you watch this video, go ahead and click the link in the description to get yours now. So we're back at the dome again, guys. Yeah, we are. And we have brought a lot of stuff today. Here we got bags of slime. I've mixed up three different colors of this stuff because variety is the spice of life. And uh, along with that, we've got our mason jar full of... Sodium. Sodium. sodium Elemental metal. sodium. That's right. Not like sodium chloride, which is just table salt. This is more or less pure sodium suspended in mineral oil. So the element number 11, which is highly volatile. As an elemental form, doesn't appear in nature because it's too unstable. It reacts with too many things, most specifically water. It reacts with water violently and explosively sometimes. We've done some fun experiments with it in the past and several of you wanted to see us try this. So that's what we're gonna do. We've got slime, we've got sodium. Let's see what happens. Let's start mixing. So I think my favorite part about sodium is yes, it starts to oxidize incredibly quickly when it comes in contact with uh, oxygen or just the air around it. it. It turns this pretty pink white, but then when you cut into it, it is a beautiful silver. It's amazing. Oh yeah, now I'm just cleaning off some of the excess oil that's built up. You can see that pinkish white color Callie was just talking about. Pretty. Watch this. So this is just a regular knife, not even a particularly sharp one. Slice right down through it. Look at that. So pretty. That silvery color. And then as she Gosh. said, like after half a second to two seconds, it starts to oxidize and it's gone. Although you can kind of see it's interesting. Uh, a little bit of oil from the knife sort of spilled here. So where it's still silvery, that's where the oil is. And where it's sort of turned pinkish, that's where there was no oil. So it's being exposed to air. If you guys saw the video uh, that we did with World of Warships, we blew up an entire ship with a few chunks about this size. That's how extreme this can be. All other pieces have been moved away out of the danger zone. Here is our chunk of sodium that we're gonna be putting in the water. It's pretty small. Now something this size, what it's most likely going to do is start reacting and form sort of a reaction layer underneath it. So it'll most likely just float on the surface of the water here. Here goes. There it is, floating on the surface of the water, <laughs> reacting. It might go up real quick, but. I, uh... Oh, there you go. All right, should I try a slightly larger chunk? <laughs> Fascinating how it like, turns into a sphere immediately. Well, sort of a blob, because it's like liquid. Yeah, now that is extremely hot, correct? Should be. It is molten sodium at the moment. If we had a way to trap it underwater, it would almost certainly just explode on us. I think it's just filling the cap with gas Woo! that it creates. There we go. And it's on fire. Whew. So, <laughs> so it's a little bit stubborn but it does explode if it actually gets enough water exposure. All right, I wanna see what happened to the lid here. <laughs> so you can actually see the mark that the sodium left. It's a melted divot in the plastic from a piece that tiny. All right, so that is what sodium does when it comes in contact with water. In fact, that is why we keep it in a jar full of mineral oil. It's because there is still moisture in the air and sodium can react to that. So we want to make sure it's as safe as possible, especially when we're transporting it up to the dome here. Nate, what is slime made out of? Slime is made of water, Elmer's glue, and borax with but, some food coloring for fun. But mostly water. But water is the main ingredient by volume, so it makes sense that some people were interested to see if sodium would react with it. Let's find out. So we've got this little bit of sodium, and I think we're going to take our blob of red slime and just put it down on top. That should expose it to a good amount of the slime at Thank once you. as well as hold it in place. This is the super sticky slime apparently that I wasn't warned about. All right, your mark, get set. Oh. I hear a little bit of sizzle. Oh yeah, as soon as it hit. I don't hear much anymore, but. Nope, I don't even see bubbles. Like there should be gas escaping if it was in contact with the liquid. 
I oh. think I see a bubble. Yeah. Okay. There's some gas about bubbles about to rise driving. to the surface. Here we go. The one bubble. Here we go. Yep. 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 Ooh, it's got some fumes in it. There. You oh. Oh, it and on it's fire. on fire. Neat. Okay. Okay. Small reaction, but, but I liked neat. It. Fill oh, the smoke. Oh. oh and oh. whoa. All right. Hey, it lit on fire. <laughs> And then look at the brick it was sitting on. Awesome. All right, so I think we should do a slightly larger piece. Yep. But instead of putting it in the bowl, let's sort of like have the slime extended, put it on slime, and then drop it on top so it's like sandwiched oh. inside of slime. And this time, Callie's gonna stretch out our slime a bit, and we're just gonna sandwich it in between two layers of slime. Go for it. Ready? Oh, that's a much larger piece. Yeah, should be okay. more fun. Okay, 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 I like it. Oh, there's Gas. the smoke. there you go. Where's the fire? Woo! There's the fire. Spurting. Oof. Splashing. Skittering, I think it like oozed itself I out think to it the did. side. It did. And it's just sort of bouncing around now. So I folded it the other way, meaning it it burrowed through the thickest part. Alright. Let's just place a chunk of sodium right on top. Alright. It's kind of molten right now, so move back fast. It's journeying across the surface of the slime. Sodium has a very, very low melting point comparatively to most metals. It's 208 degrees Fahrenheit or 98 degrees Celsius. The boiling point, however, is 1600 degrees Fahrenheit or 882 degrees Celsius. Oh, well, there it goes. Woo! So same thing, it did eventually react enough that it caught on fire, burned a hole through our paper bowl. I guess that's not surprising. After traveling several inches on chemical reaction powered slime propulsion. Ha! Well that took nothing. Well it's melted. It's melted, but is it There's on fire? A... Is that something else? No, that's something else. Well, now it's on fire. That's awesome. That's so pretty. Ha! Wow. Whoa. So it's spread out and like lit on fire, and it leaves like what looks like a, a shiny gloss covering on here and I can't touch it yet because it's still very warm. All right, if we were to sprinkle water on that, would it be reactive? Ooh. Ooh. Orange? Oh, rust maybe? I don't know. Orange. That, was really that may be something to do with the steel tongs and what the sodium did when it heated up. So we're going to have it on the ground. We're going to put some sodium in, melt it, and then from a distance of a little bit, try and splash water onto it. Stop missing. <laughs> that was gorgeous. It like splashed a little bit. All right, back to slime. We've got some lovely blue slime here. And we're just gonna scale this up. We're gonna put a larger chunk of sodium in, see what it does. Here we go. Ready. I see a bubble. Woo, that was quick. Bubble. Bubble boil toil and like trouble. The, the metal is like skidding oh, around in there. You can it's, see it it's actually bit. already raised. Yeah, it's like coming up to the surface. Yep. But a lot of it is still submerged in the slime, so this isn't necessarily over. Oh wow. Big old Woo! Big old blobs of sodium just running around the surface there. We are not breathing this in. For anybody who is taking a look at this, we are staying as far away from those so things that, like, as possible. So that like climbed its way up out of the slime. A little bit of it still spilled out on the ground here and on fire. That was actually gorgeous. Go. Get away, get away, get away, get away. That's what you did to us. Just woo! Yes! Nice. So this slime didn't set the same way. I added a lot more water as it was mixing. Oh good, so this is gonna be much more dangerous. We'll see. So you're gonna have that. 
and I'm just gonna take this whole chunk. So I would say that we are going to drop this in from a fair distance away, as in I will have tongs, we'll be holding it away, maybe even toss it a little bit, and then we are going to run. Three, two, one. Oh. Woo! Well, I am often. Not quite what we were expecting, but I'm not upset. That was quite a bit of reaction, though. Yeah. Three, two, one. Well. Slightly more under the surface. It does like to work its way up. There you go. Definitely lit on fire faster. There you go, being submerged I think helps. I also might have taken more time to like scrape the surface don't off. Don't breathe that in, don't breathe that in. All right, guys, we've got more sodium still. It's easy to make more slime. If you've got a way you want to see us scale this up, let us know down in the comments. You know, we've always got more for you to see. Click that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.